Hi guys, welcome to VR Essentials. Hope you're doing well today. We're going to be doing some live action gameplay using three different apps on the DPVR E4 as it just got an update extremely recently. So we will be testing it out with Half-Life Alyx, Aceto Korota and also Ghost of Tabor. Very cool first person shooter that is relatively new and still in beta. And yeah, so we're going to be using 120 hertz. I will do a separate video at 90 hertz. So hit the notification bell after you subscribe to be notified of that video. All right, without further ado, first hit the likes so that YouTube can promote this video and we can grow the VR Essentials community. And now let's dive into VR. All right guys, so we're inside of Aceto Corsa with the DP VR E4. You're gonna see on the screen everything that I basically see. So let me just put the VR headset on and then let me just click on drive. There we go. And then we're about to go, go, go. And you'll be able to see everything that is happening basically. All right. So we're gonna do a lap just to see how things do, how things uh, move. So far, so good. In terms of the graphics, you have to go to the. Uh, you have to go to the through the lens video which I posted earlier. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, it's this way. Okay, never mind. Wrong way. It's a bit of a, a bit of a optical illusion. Now we can change. I think we can change the camera. I'm not sure. No. Let me just uh, resume. Doesn't seem like I can change the camera here. Graphics are okay, just getting some flicker, I mean, you know, some jittery, jittery lines here and there, especially on the side. In the car, everything is more or less fine, so that's fine. No issues there. All right, the turns are okay. I'm not losing any frame rates, which is great. So this is uh, one of the bonus of not using my camera on the computer because when I'm live streaming I use it I actually lose a lot of frame rates a lot of frames here and there so things aren't as smooth but with the RTX 2070 and filming with the camera outside I'm actually able to play without any issues whatsoever as you can see so this is perfectly absolutely absolutely fine guys really good Moving on to the next game, Half-Life Alex. All right guys, so now we're doing some Half-Life Alex with the DPVR E4, of course. Here's a screen for you to see how the gameplay is doing so that you can see everything, if there's any loss of frames or anything like that as I'm doing this live with you, basically. Let me just put the VR headset on properly. There we go. The graphics are absolutely great for me at the moment, I have to say, but do go and check out the through the lens footage that we did and that I posted earlier today and also another video that I posted before. So we are running, as I mentioned before, at 120 hertz. All right, there we go. And we're just gonna play for a little while. Thanks. All right, I can pick up all the things, no problem, whatever, whatsoever. I don't have any issues. Everything is clear in here. Oh. I can aim without any issues. I would say that uh, comparing it to the HP Reverb G2 is that the dark areas are more dark, for sure, on the G2, uh, compared to the DPDR, where things are more, I would say, the dark, dark, dark areas are more gray than I would say black, that is for sure. All right, uh, there we go, go up. All right, let's grab this barrel here. I do like the controls on the DPVR E4, I have to say. They're pretty good. Compared to the G2, there is no comparison. I can't throw anything with the G2, uh, to be honest with you. Oh, that's... Uh, 
So I have to use the mammoth grips with the actual G2, otherwise I'm not really able to use the G2 controllers, to be honest, it just hurts my hand too much. But these ones seem to be okay, they fit my hand okay, no problem with them at all. As you can see, I can throw, I can grab. In fact, I'm using my left hand, and I'm actually right-handed, to be honest with you, so just, oh, where is it? Somewhere here. Oh, did I lose it? Something happened. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, for some reason it didn't. It didn't grab it. Okay, it went down. So, uh, not sure what happened there. Uh, that was uh, kind of funny. But there you go. I'm not going to edit it out. We do everything live. Yeah. Let's see how we can uh, battle these monsters here. All right. One's down. Let's get this one as well. Is he dead? I think he is. All right, let me grab this. There you go. All right, I'm not sure what he looks like on the screen. But as you can tell, no issues whatsoever at the moment. Controllers are working completely fine. There's no specific binding to the controllers also. Now, in terms of the graphics here, this is where the G2 performs better. Over there, I can see some jagged edges uh, basically around him. Uh, and also, it's a bit more blurry behind him as well. So it's much more jittery at the back. So the performance is more, I would say, at the front and also here in the middle. And then anything towards the back is where basically uh, the performance of the of the DPVR E4 starts to basically fail. All right, there we go. Let's see if there's uh, we can do this one also. Wow! All right, and this one, get this guy here. All right, you see? Oh, there's one more. I didn't know. I don't want him to to throw anything at me. So again, in terms of graphics, for me, what I see inside, everything around here is great. However, uh, the moment I look at the, the suitcase over there, this one there, uh, basically that's where things start to get a little bit blurry and there are more jagged edges basically, but it's okay. It doesn't really disturb me, to be honest. Everything in here is quite clear, sharp enough for me. And remember, I'm running at 120 hertz, so I'll definitely test out what it's like uh, at 90 hertz and let you guys know in a future video. All right, let's test out one more last game, which will be Ghost of Tabor. Wakey, wakey! All right, guys, so now we're inside of Ghost of Tabor with the DPVR E4 running again at 120 hertz, guys. Do watch until the end. I will also give you some feedback about 90 Hertz and smash the notification bell as I will also do separate videos using 90 Hertz as well, everybody. So we're just gonna play for a few moments. Just wanna show you the graphics, the gameplay. There's no issues, by the way, with the actual binding of the controllers. Uh, the only thing is if you wanna bring up the menu, you have to put your thumbstick down and then just walk back, you just have to be patient, and then your menu will basically, uh, you know, come, come online. So it's not like you can just press a button and that's it. You actually have to press your jumpstick, your thumbstick on the left down, click down and hold down until it comes up. That's the only way to do it. Um, so yeah, okay, so let's go and find some, some trees. All right, so. Here are some trees. Running is a little bit, uh, you do have to press the thumbstick here and there to get the running action going. So at the moment it's okay. So basically there is for me, as I said, go and watch the through the lens video. The trees here, there's definitely some jitter against the white background, especially, but when I'm uh, close to plants or close to the trees and things, Basically, there is no issue whatsoever. The graphics are very clear to me, especially when I'm here. It's all very clear. You can probably hear my... You 
can probably hear my graphics card just now. Oh, I have to maybe... All right, there we go. Where is he? He's just here somewhere, I just saw him. Maybe there's no bullets in the side of this gun. Possible. Let me uh, unclip it. Oh, there's no cartridge. The cartridge disappeared. All right. Let me get the cartridge for the gun. I think it's uh, this one here. All right, there we go. Let me pick up the gun again. And put it like this, I believe. Oh, it's not the right one. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. So this is what happens, guys. When you're playing for the first time, we will take this gun, pick up this gun here, put that here, there we go. Someone's shooting at me from somewhere. So I need to figure out where they're shooting from. But as you can, oh, I've been hit again from somewhere. Where are they shooting from? I need to identify where they're shooting. And then I can shoot. But as you can tell, so far, so good. I'm not having any issues, no jamming or anything. My controllers are tracking the gun perfectly fine. Where is he? Someone is sniping me from somewhere. In fact, it's performing much better than the mixed reality headset by the HP Reaver, to be honest, as it would already be jittery a lot everywhere. Okay, so I'm getting hit somewhere by someone. I'm not quite sure where. But as you can see, I'm running absolutely fine. Now I have some uh, healing potions and snack bars and all these kind of things to heal me. So I can still take a few hits. I need to go. Where is he hitting me from? Oh, this is a bit annoying though. I keep getting the thing coming up because I press the thumbstick also. Where is he hitting me from? Where is he? This is what I don't know what's going on. So he hit the car. That means he must be either in there. Oh, he's there. Okay, we got him. Okay, he's coming. Let's bend down. There he is. You see him? I have to reload the gun, maybe. Oh, it's one bullet at a time, it seems. Oh, he's hitting me hard. Hitting me hard. It's not shooting, which is damn annoying. This game is supposed to be very, very real in terms of things. Okay, so... Okay, it's supposed to shoot now. No. 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 No shooting, no gun. But there's ammo inside, which is... There's no more ammo. Okay, where's my backpack? No backpack. Where is my backpack? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, let me put this down. Let me get my gun. There we go. And I will shoot him with the gun. It'll be easier. Okay, he's down. There we go. Man down. So there you go, guys. As you can tell, I'm not having any issues whatsoever. I can run also. Let me try to run. Uh, running is a little bit tough for me because the control... Oh, there we go. All right, I'm being shot at again. But I just want to show you some gameplay. Of course, I'm not going to die because I always have to restart everything from scratch. But basically, as you can see, Everything's okay. Everything is working absolutely fine. No stress. The map is absolutely massive. You can see more people over there shooting at me, so I better get out of the way. So there you go, guys. Ghost of Tabber on the DPVR E4. So guys, thank you very much for watching today's video of the DPVR E4 with some live gameplay, just to show you that at 120 hertz, it works absolutely fine, no problems whatsoever. I've been testing it all day today, so I took my day off to do all this. Do hit the notification bell after you subscribe, guys, so I will do testing with the 90 hertz, just to give you my feedback as to whether it's much better, a little better, or no difference whatsoever, or even perhaps, who knows, worse. 
We don't know, right? Could be worse. So guys, do smash the likes to let me know you like this video and to help the algorithm on YouTube to promote this video even further and so we can grow the community of your essentials, of course. All right, guys, I'll talk to you very soon. Leave a comment below. Let me know what was the favorite game in this video that you liked the most of me doing the uh, live action. Do you like these formats also with the PC there and all this because it makes it much easier also? Smash the likes, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Are you planning to get a DPVR or do you have one? What do you think of your DPVR? All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.